Hi everybody, I am Desi Rodriguez and welcome to another episode of Cafecito with Mr. Miami Real Estate. Today I'm continuing the segment of relocating to Florida. Last week we did an episode of getting a mortgage loan when relocating with George Tuzet that you should definitely check out if you're going to be purchasing a home. Like always, if you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comment section below and be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. As you know, I am Mr. Miami Real Estate, but my team covers the entire South Florida area and we have strategic partnerships with agents throughout the state. So if you're interested in relocating and need a recommendation, do not hesitate to reach out. Let's talk about the statistics. In the beginning of the year, a study done by Yuha shows that Florida became the number one state that people are moving to, surpassing Texas. This was before the health pandemic and that number has since jumped. A report came out last week and it showed that over a thousand people are relocating to Florida every single day. There are some markets that are feeling it more than others. For example, West Palm Beach has seen an uptick of almost 300% of properties going under contract above a million dollars compared to last year. So why is everyone moving to Florida? A lot of the people relocating to Florida are coming from high-tech states such as New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Illinois, and we have no state income tax. Another major contributing factor is that there's no snow and it's warm all year round. However, there are many more reasons to move to Florida, such as there being numerous communities dedicated to retirees and snowbirds, housing costs are lower than many parts of the country, and Florida has a strong economy and job market. Florida is also an international hub, being home to such a diverse range of cultures. It's apparent in the food available, various cultural festivities throughout the year, and even the attractions like museums and performing arts centers that have diverse exhibits and performances. When it comes to real estate, Florida is a homestead state, which Florida homeowners can file for a homestead exemption worth up to $50,000 on your primary residence. The exemption reduces the amount of property taxes Florida homeowners must pay and limits how much their taxes can increase each year. However, to be fair, moving to Florida does have certain drawbacks as well that you need to take into consideration. Number one is you'll be paying higher insurance costs than other parts of the country. Some of the worst traffic congestion in the country is in Florida, and this is especially true near major cities. The high heat that a lot of people move for is also one of the top complaints Floridians have, especially when you mix in the humidity. We're also prone to hurricanes, which you won't be exposed to in many other parts of the country. Moving to Florida and relocating is always a personal decision, but I think for many people, the pros above far exceed the limited cons. When you've made the final decision and want to start looking for properties down here, the first move is to find a realtor. As I mentioned before, my team does cover South Florida, but we have partners throughout the entire state of Florida that are experts in their market. Reach out to me if you would like a referral. If you're gonna be purchasing when moving down, the next step would be to have your realtor put you in touch with a mortgage lender and get pre-approved. If you currently own a home and don't know if you should keep it or sell it, watch our prior video with George Tuzet from Syntax Mortgage, but also bring up your concern when discussing with the mortgage lender that you choose. The process of finding the property when relocating is fairly simple, regardless of renting or buying, with all the technology available. Many properties have 3D tours and relocation agents are experienced in providing detailed videos and live tours through FaceTime or similar apps. Market experts can also point you in the right direction for you to review local school ratings and crime rates. When you make the decision to make an offer on a property, you can come down to visit or you can continue the process virtually and have your offer package signed electronically. If you are purchasing a home, I would encourage you to come down during the inspection period to get a feel for what you are purchasing as most contracts allow you to cancel during your inspection period. Everything mortgage related can also be handled virtually and the closing as well, which will be detailed in next week's episode with Carolyn Martinez, who is the owner of a full service title and closing company. If any questions you have were not answered in this video, please drop it in the comment section and be sure to subscribe as we have a new video being released every Friday. Have a great weekend and see you next week.